Hey everybody, Benjamin Soma here. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to record using the chord player. So of course, I've already pulled up the chord player template and I've already put in a piano in, into this instrument. Have I? Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> okay, here's an instrument, a piano and the, this instrument track, which is just really a regular instrument track. So I've armed it just like any other normal instrument track and I can record into it. Let's give that a try. Turn on the metronome. Let's try this. Okay, I've got a little ditty. Here it is. Now you can see that these notes, or this recording is the actual notation, the individual notes coming from the chord player. So I can make edits to these notes, these chords, however I choose. And, uh, and I won't have to necessarily use the chord player to play it back with. So that's the method I recommend. If you want another way to record, um, you can actually record into the chord player track itself. Now what this would do is record the, the button pushes from the push before they're converted into chords. So if you want to do this, you um, arm this track and then make sure that this monitor is set to in. So that way it plays through into the instrument and you can actually hear it. <laughs> so if you want to record into here, let's just show what that would look like. using one hand on this. Okay, let's take a look. So you can see here that even though those chords, of course, have more than one note inside, these are just single note uh, entries into this MIDI clip. So if you want to play this back, you're going to need to make sure it's always in the chord player track um, so that it, those notes can get converted into chords. And then, it, of course, it needs to send out to an instrument track that's always waiting for input. Um, otherwise, it won't play. But let's recap. The first way I mentioned is the way that I think you should do it. Um, just simply make sure this track is armed like you always do and go to town. Easy peasy. So I hope that helps some folks who are trying to record with the chord player. You can find out more about the chord player at benjaminsoma.com.